Hi kids. Uh, today I'm going to set up some portable solar panels that I made uh, last year. I made them last year before I departed on my 2016 adventure and what I had learned um, from the 2015 adventure um, was that I like parking in the shade but I've got solar panels and it makes it hard to get um, gather my photons <laughs> to collect energy for my batteries so I can live in the middle of nowhere so I can run my run my lights and my water pump and my fan the essentials and you know sometimes I like to watch uh, I like to watch YouTube and you know um, get on the computer and sometimes I like to make money <laughs> so I can put gas in my rig but um, I mean I typically I live off-grid that's the way I prefer to live out in the middle of nowhere I'm in not downtown Birmingham but just on the north side of Birmingham and I am connected to my friends uh, electrical outlet so I've, it's it's luxury but I still like to park in the shade and I still like to keep my batteries charged even when everything else is I'm running um, I'm running my fridge 24 7 I'm running my computer um, my big monitor so I've it, this is fantastic and you know I like being in the city um, occasionally but I also like to keep my batteries charged and right now the sun's just coming out so you can see that the sun is going to be hitting some of the panels but a lot of them are going to be um, blocked by the trees and the leaves and typically solar panels don't work very well if at all if a portion of the panel is blocked a lot of people don't know that so in order to gather the sun without being in the sun last year i made some solar panels um, that are portable and pretty simple i just put two of my the first two panels i ever bought i pulled them off the roof because they um, didn't uh, initially they just didn't match up and i was thinking well these don't look good maybe i can put them at the rear and then i had the brainstorm wow i could make portable panels out of these things and really all they are they're just hooked together um, like two panels would normally be electrically and on the back i just put some hinges so they just flop right out when you when you set them up and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to lay them against this uh aluminum angle iron I'm just going to bolt them up and they're just going to sit facing the sun and i can run that's what this is for this is so i can hook up any extension cord or a series of extension cords i've got i think close to 300 feet of extension cord so i can park deep in the woods as long as i've got some sunlight and there's a nice patch of sunlight most of the day out here and when the sun goes behind the trees i can move the panel so i can get eight or more hours of sun every day by having portable panels and if you're freaking out you should be because if the sun's hitting these panels at all there's current coming through here and i'll pull out the meter in a second and show you but uh, you got to be careful this thing is hot i had a connector there was a just a dead connector to keep keep this thing shielded it's just one of these that had the ends cut off so i could plug this in and shield it but i have misplaced that so right now i am going to um set this thing up so you can see it i'm going to meter it first before i set it up well no i'm going to set it up then i'm going to meter it and show you that there's 18 volts coming through this thing pretty much anytime the sun's hitting it so um the the amps drop depending on how much sunlight is is hitting them but uh i'm going to set this up here in a second and show you uh that i can park in the shade and it's that's important parking in the shade is important because it's june it's the end of june and it gets hot in alabama and you don't want to be parked in the sun any more than than you have to in the summer now, i don't have air conditioning so um well 
I don't have the air conditioning unless the bus is running. And I'm not going to run my bus just to run the air conditioner. So. so I'm parked in the shade most of the day, which is really nice, keeps the bus nice and cool. But I need solar. I need to keep my batteries charged. So that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> After 27 hours of running wire inside the bus, just kidding, it was 30 minutes, ran the, the wiring to the charge controller and I dropped a AC receptacle um, under my desk and then I ran another, the other end the the mail in I need I ran the mail end of this extension cord into the bus um, to plug up to the um, I, I ran the mail end to run into the bus to plug into the female that's connected inside the bus to the charge controller and I know that this is a non-standard way of doing it and you may want to do it some other way but the reason I did it this way is I've got access to a lot of extension cords and I don't have access to a lot of just plain um, wire. So rather than spend a lot of money on extra wire, it's kind of a kind of a scary thing to do if you don't know what you're doing. But what I'm doing is I'm orienting the polarity to one side of the cable that way I always know which side it is and you could probably do something put some kind of an adapter in here to make you feel better like uh, there's there's several d types of DC adapters if you want to adapt and still use your AC cord like I'm using but I'm just gonna probably what I'll do is label it in the future you know maybe make some kind of red mark or something like that on it but what you don't want to do you don't want somebody that doesn't know how you've got everything wired temporarily to come up and try to use this as an AC or plug AC into something like this because um, that would obviously cause some grief um, maybe even cause a fire I don't know but what I'm going to demonstrate now is how I've got the polarity run and as you can see uh, I'm going to call this up so the uh, the ground or the um, this pole up here is always going to be on top and what I've got is I've got uh, positive on the left side well the right side as you're seeing and I'm just checking just uh, one last time to make sure that I've got it correctly and you can see I'm, I'm pulling 13, 14 volts from inside the bus so we know that if I take the same polarity off of this and this is hot remind reminder here this is this is hot when the sun's shining on it it's hot so if I say I want to go in this way and I think last time I recall this side was hot just make sure and it looks like I've got the polarity screwed up well good thing I saw that beforehand <laughs> I really did screw it up. I really did screw it up. Wow. I got it going in on the wrong side. Damn sure did. Send in the clouds. <laughs> so that's why you always check, boys and girls, because this could have. Well, I've got a fuse on it, so it's not going to be that big of a deal, but. Um, what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to rewire, well, probably be easier to rewire the adapter in the bus. But for future reference, <laughs> that's all I had to do is take this out and look at it and see that I had the positive wired to the left side of this terminal. That's all I had to do. But instead I did it my own way, which is the wrong way. So, so right is not red well good thing I did that before I plugged it up huh 
So all I did here was to run the uh, run the cable, uh, a new cable, positive and negative. This is the positive end, and run it into the controller, and basically clipped it to the same post that the the controllers coming in from the roof at our own so I got a fuse on this one and I got a fuse on this one and you know positive to positive negative to negative that's kinda kinda brainless up here but once it gets down there and starts doing lefty loose lefty loosey righty tidy you, you reverse I guess that's what happened I, I'm not really sure but uh, I'm about to shove all these wires back in here and put my cover over that and then I will be done um, I can't tell much difference now because everything's cloudy and the sun's gone behind the trees that I put the uh, the new panels in but uh, other than that I'm real happy I can I can get sun where there is sun but today there is no sun anywhere in Alabama apparently so maybe tomorrow maybe Monday we'll see <laughs>